Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unit Converter, and the first way of converting a video file on Mac is easier than you'd think. We have these two files here. One of them is an MOV file and the other one is an MP4. They have seemingly different formats, but the truth lies beneath the file extension. If you right click on them and go to get info and then go to more info here, you'll see that the video codec is H264 for the both of them and the audio bitrate is also equal. This means that the video stream and the audio stream in these two files are the same, only with a different ticker. So, and watch this because it's super simple. If I click on it and hit enter and then in the title, I change the MOV extension to MP4 and then hit enter. It will ask which extension to use MP4 or MOV. Let's go with MP4 obviously now. And after you hit enter again, practically we converted this MOV file to MP4 without any conversion process. Now you can't do this in all cases, but from time to time, it can be an easy solution for converting files. Now, since this method doesn't work between all sorts of file formats, I'll rank this as number five on our list. So let's move on to some better solutions. So if you have an MOV file, maybe one that you shot on your iPhone, it will have a different codec, HEVC, which is Apple's own codec for better compression rates at a higher quality. But your non-Mac user friends will have a hard time opening it. So what you can do to help them is using QuickTime to quickly export it in a different format, or more like in the same format with a different codec. This is how. If you open the video file with QuickTime, then you go to the file menu and click on export as. Here, first you can choose the resolution in case you want to change that as well. And then here you need to choose H.264 over HEVC. For making an MOV file more usable, this method is pretty good, but converting files between other formats and extensions is not possible with this one, so it will rank as number four on the list. Probably the most professional solution is using a professional converter. Wow, how did you figure, Dom? The Uni Converter can convert anything to anything as it supports over a thousand file formats and is optimized for Apple's silicon chips as well, and it's crazy fast. Not to mention its ability to convert files in batch. If you don't have it yet, you can download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com, create an account, and you can start using the free features of it. Here is how to use it. Open the converter right from the home interface. Import your files, then choose an output format, either for all of them together or one by one, it's your choice. Then after choosing an output folder, click on start all. As you can see, I'm converting a couple of files and this is real time speed that you're seeing, but I can't even finish my sentence and it's done already. <laughs> this is how fast it is. It's the best converter ever. Therefore, I'm going to rank this number one on our list. In VLC, it's likewise possible to convert files. To do it, you need to open it first. It will give you this player window here, but we don't need it. Instead, go to the file menu and click on convert slash stream. Here you can import your video file and choose the output format. Then you can click on save it as a file and browse an output location and then click on save. This is kind of a working method, but sometimes the conversion just doesn't happen, so I'd rather choose another solution over this one from this list. It does support multiple file formats and it is a free and easy to use solution, so I'll still make it number three on our rank list. Lastly, you can also use online converters, such as the one on media.io. Online converters are best for smaller and shorter video files as you need to consider the time it takes to upload the video and then after the conversion process, download it. So. It you actually need a strong internet connection for this method. It is a good solution though, especially on media.io. You can even convert files in a batch. It's also pretty fast and you can simply use it from your phone as well. Of course, again, depends on your internet connection. It supports a variety of formats, so it takes number two on our list of best solutions. So which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.